Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you how to sort a large range of data, such as this one, or larger in Google Sheets by extracting the top or bottom values in the range. Now, for the sake of this sort, we don't just want the top sales figures or the bottom sales figures, but we want the name of the person next to it. So what will be displayed right here should be the top five salespeople as well as the sales figure next to it. So let's get into it. You will click on the first cell you want the function to take place in. And if it's two columns, you want to click in this column so that both the name and sales are displayed in this column you're selecting and the one next to it. So we'll type in equals our sort n function, open our parentheses, and then we're going to select the range we want to extract data from. And that's this whole range to our left, a comma. Next, the function wants us to pick how many values we include. So we want the top five. So we'll simply type in the number five, another comma. Now we get to an optional part of the function, which is the displays ties mode or the, the sorry, the display ties mode. Um, we don't want it. So we'll just simply add another comma to pass over that. And then the next part of the function is asking from which column of our range we want to sort by. So we want to sort by the sales column, which is the second column of our range we selected. So we'll type in the number two. And then finally, we'll add another comma. And the last part of this function is asking if our value or our range of values is ascending. And for the sake of top five, it's not ascending, it's descending. So we'll type in false. Then we hit enter. And here we are, we're given the top five salespeople as well as their sales figures next to it. Now, if you wanted to get the bottom five salespeople, you do the same thing equals sort n, select your range, comma, number five, because you want five, the bottom five another comma, skip over the display ties mode with a comma, and then number two for the second column, the sales column, another comma, and then true because it is ascending, you're getting the bottom five salespeople going from bottom to up, Z to A. Then we'll hit enter, and now we have the bottom five salespeople with their corresponding sales figure. And if you made a simple change to the function, say, we go to where it says five and we do 10, then we should have the bottom 10 salespeople. And you do the same thing, top five. And also you could switch true to false pretty easily. Um, and then you'd be given the top 10 instead of the bottom 10. So that's pretty much it for the sort n function. It's the best function I've found for sorting the top and bottom values from a large range of data because sorting through it uh, manually, physically looking at the values and trying to find the top five or top 10 or whatever it may be, is kind of painstaking. So I hope that this tutorial helped you learn how to do whatever it is you're looking to accomplish by watching this video. And if you enjoyed and learned something, I would really appreciate a like and a comment. Thank you.